Hi, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Pisces, I've set a little bit of a different intention here today. I've asked for uh, your spirit guides uh, advice or what they want you to know for the month of April. Before we get into that, I just want to tell you that at the very end of this reading, I'm going to tell you about a chance, if you haven't heard it already in any other reading, I'm going to tell you a chance about um, how you can win a personal reading with me for free. I hope you find that exciting. So if you want to hear about that, you'll get all, all the information on how to be a part of that draw uh, at the very end of this reading. Are you hearing me fine? So, spirit guides, what do you want Pisces to know? First card out is dreams. <clears throat> We're starting with three initial cards here. And then we're just going to go deeper into each and every one of these energies. And at the end, there's going to be an extension. If you feel like you resonate with the reading, then you're so welcome there. So we want the second and third card from your spirit guides. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you want Pisces to know, please? For the month of April. Second card out. The Leo card. And this is probably like the fourth or the fifth time that this is coming out. So it's a very, for all the signs, uh, a lot of signs seem, seems to take control of their own life. To just have a clearer path for themselves. Gaining more confidence. I love that for the collective. And then also for Pisces. Ooh. Angel of Miracles. So dreams, we have leadership, and we have angel of miracles. And we're just going to clarify. So we're starting with this. This usually also is, um, we have leadership, set your goals, and then we have angel of miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Um, believe in your dreams is what this is saying as well. So there's something that you've been asking about. There's something that you're hoping uh, is going to come to fruition or something that you are looking towards to and maybe not necessarily 100% sure that it's going to take place or like it's going to happen. Um, and I was just about to say that the dreams card, it can obviously be about your dream state, like how you're dreaming things as you're sleeping. <clears throat> but this usually shows up when you're like right before you're about to manifest something in your physical world. So I'd say that a dream in your dream state is also a manifestation, but it's like a first sign of a manifestation. So why is this here for Pisces, please? What do you want them to know? Believe in your dreams. And then we have imagine. That's really beautiful. And we're going to go deeper in, into, into each and every one of these. And then we're going to clarify, like I said, this is all about setting your goals and believing in your dreams and believing in that those goals are possible to achieve or, or come across or experience. It's also a lot about confidence. So why is this here for Pisces, please? What do you want them to know? here and now so if you just stay present with your dream <clears throat> you don't wander off into your past thinking that it hasn't happened before you don't you don't wander off into the future thinking when it's going to happen or if it's going to happen or not or what that implies if it happens what does that mean for the future if it doesn't happen what does it, that mean for the future both those are not interesting we need to stay here and now and be confident in what you're asking about. And then we have Angel of Miracles. Expect, open your heart and expect a miracle. I was going to just ask, why is this here? Yang. Which is such a, like, you're ready to manifest. Here it comes. It's coming out of your hands. You're creating it. Really beautiful. So the whole, the whole reading 
screams and I'm so happy for you <laughs> I'm so happy for you Pisces because it feels like the last couple of uh, couple of years last couple maybe maybe uh but not so much in my readings but the last couple of weeks the last couple of weeks it feels like it has been almost like a like coming at you a little bit Pisces for the way that you have been interacting with others a little bit codependency um caring too much about other people rather than yourself uh trying to have you like stand up for certain people stand up for yourself in certain situations etc etc and now it seems like okay time for Pisces I don't know if that means Pisces that you have now cut cords with certain people that you have now claimed your own energy a little bit more that you're looking out for yourself a little bit more first before sort of then taking care of everyone else maybe you're not even in a sort of a of a like a codependent relationship anymore this seems to be all about dream your biggest dream have a vision about what you want um imagine how that will be take charge in your own life and and stay loyal to that dream and just be confident in what it is that you're trying to achieve here be present about it be present about it because like that's where all your power is in your present moment is where all your power is it's so crazy to say that in your present moment is where your, all your power is because you can't be in the future there is no future and there is no past there is literally only the present moment but what you're uh putting your thoughts on if you're putting your thoughts in the present moment on your future or if you're putting your th thoughts on your present moment in your past or on your past rather uh it just means that and, and the past is nothing that you want and the future is something you're wor worried about it just means that right now you're creating something for your future that you're not really going to like when you get there does that make sense if you're thinking about your past and what the past um is all about is like love and laughter and how much fun you had in a certain like relationship or situation um or you're thinking about your future and all the fun things you're going to do and all the fun people you're going to meet and like etc etc then in your powerful now moment you're creating something wonderful that you're walking towards right so it's not so much about thinking about the past or thinking about the future is what you're thinking about and then just understanding that everything you're thinking about is in the present moment because you can't be anywhere else that's why we say all your power is in the present moment because there's where you always are but what, what do you put your mind on and it seems like you're just you're claiming your you're claiming your life right now Pisces you're at you're going towards something and gaining that confidence about it uh, together with the angel of miracles which is like just open your heart just but practice opening your heart will allow for beautiful things to come in and it's interesting because I'm 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 gonna read out these two I'm told to read out these two cards from the book so I will and so I will start with I don't know why but they want me to start with the last one <clears throat> yang number one brand new beginning brand new energy it's the first card out in the deck or in the book rather if i can find it uh, four one So the yang card here <clears throat> essential meaning of this is the masculine principle of movement and creative activity the power to make things happen taking action good start and then the, or the oracle's message states yang represents the power of action the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form now is the Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. When you want, what you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. Um, where was I? What, there you go uh what you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently 
This card signifies new life uh, and is a sure thing, no, it's a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. So you have overcome something. You have cut some cords. You are stronger in your own energy and sort of claiming your personal power a bit more. Uh, the relationship message states, circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is a movement toward your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. So if you're single and you're looking for someone, <clears throat> looking for a partner, um, sort of just do the same thing as you're, as you're being, you're not being told, but like as you're being inspired to do. Uh, and just confidently moving forward towards your goal. This is about like confidently moving forward towards your person and just feel that, feel that passion that is about to take place in your life in terms of a person. If you're already in a committed relationship, I just feel like taking the lead there uh, and bring sort of more passion into the relationship feels like, because Pisces, I know I'm completely generalizing now, completely generalizing. But Pisces is typically, you're like such an emotional sign. You're like your depth goes so deep. Your emotional body is like on fire compared to other signs. And so <clears throat> sometimes when things get a little bit overwhelming for you, you have sort of an, a little bit of an issue to bring that to the people around you. Maybe even more so to the people you love. Like strangers, you probably could just be really bossy around and just say what you feel and have them know your clear opinion. But when it comes to your loved ones and those who are closest, where I guess we're supposed to be able to speak up more and be more like vulnerable and verbal, um, sometimes I feel Pisces can um, box themselves in and shut down a little bit because it gets like too close and too deep emotionally for you that you need to sort of unwrap it over a little bit of time. But once that time comes and you feel like, so they, like, for instance, that could be uh, like, there's a lot of silence in your, <laughs> in your relationship. And if you're not in a romantic partnership, this could be like between you and family members, between you and friends, between you and coworkers, that if there's a little bit of a hiccup somewhere, it doesn't have to be like a full blown conflict, but there's a little bit of a hiccup you rather take the high road like your, or the highway uh, where like woo, <laughs> you can just sort of go past it and la, 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 you don't have to talk about it at all. Um, and it, it takes quite the bit for you to sort of, okay, stop and rethink about what just happened. Turn those emotions into words and, and express them. Like that's going to be a, a moment there or, or 30 before Pisces speak to their closest family. Um, and I feel like if this is in a partnership where you feel this silence has been going on now for like two or three days, or this, or, or it is vividly loud and you just talk away, but we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> has someone missed that song yet? Uh, we don't talk about what has happened or we like, we just don't talk. Take the lead. This is, and, and try to not be a victim here. And I know it sucks to hear like, don't be the victim, which makes you just want to slap someone because you don't want to be called a victim. But like, try not to be the victim here. Try to be the bigger person. And even though you have every right on your side, Pisces, to be the silent one and wait for the other person to bring this up, whether, whether it's a friend or a family member or you're like your person, even your dog. Like if you you can sit around and wait forever. So this is about like, okay, so just take the wheel and just start talking and you'll be so happy you did. Okay. This goes like in every, so this is about like taking charge right now. So it's not, that was like very specific and very detailed. Um, so like in a bigger scheme and in like in a general sense, like feel in this moment, whether it's romantic partnerships coming together, um, like just going on dating sites and you're sitting around waiting, whether you're a woman or a man, you're sitting around waiting for someone else to, to reach out to you. Like, don't do that. <laughs> just, just don't do that. Uh, take charge. 
if this is in a business situation, like a job situation, a career situation, whatever situation this is in, feel like you can take charge in it, okay? It, it won't backfire. Do you see what I did there with the fire and it? Yeah. Um, take the lead. Prosperity message states, projects, uh, partnerships, and all <laughs> projects, partnerships. One day I'll have 100% uh, clear vision again. Or some say, get glasses. I just move this as far away as I can <laughs> to read the text. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Projects, partnerships, and all. All matters relating to your business are out of the obstacle phase and onto the make it happen phase. And so that was literally exactly what we just said. Take charge in whatever situation you're in. Uh, it's a make it happen phase. This is so exciting, Pisces. Um, now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect the busier, while you can expect to be busier than usual. This card tells you that you have all the energy and vitality you need to accomplish your goals. There's a lot about setting your goals as well. Um, abundance is waiting for you to claim it. I love this for you, she yelled. There's something here that you've been wanting. You're setting your goals. You're dreaming about something. You move forward with confidence. You're taking charge. I love this. <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, now tell you about this little guy that came out under your dreams. Like I said, this is usually some, some a card that comes up right before we're usually, usually it's uh, uh, right before you're about to meet someone. This is like a div divine partner um, situation that is about to take place. But this, I just, for the majority of the cards I just feel like this is for anything this is when you're starting to have it in your vision like this is really gonna this is really gonna happen and if you if you even start to um dream about it you're really really close okay <clears throat> so imagine imagine that i know that it says imagine that in the in the book so we have a 20 there which is an upgrade is a 2.0 version of yourself. Uh, 31. I'm way off. What about glasses? <laughs> 20. 20. 2.0 version of yourself. Essential meaning of this card is turning imagination into manifestation. That was a clarifier. And I just said that this is so close to manifest when, you, when we have the dreams card. And then we start out saying, turning imagination into manifestation. Creative thought, uh, visualization, uh, the power of aligning, Im the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity and illusions. <clears throat> the Oracle's message, message states, you do, <laughs> you do you and we're all good. Who do you want to be? Question um, mark. What do you need to believe in order to to have the life you want? Uh, you were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals, or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images <clears throat> of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. And that's also what I meant with like, it. you just keep thinking about it. You keep you keep visualizing it and like it soon, soon it becomes real and you're going to have it in your life. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board 
to help you see your goals or meditating, allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. And the relationship message states, in matters of the heart, it's easy to, day <clears throat> it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While that's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. So this is all about taking charge again. Um, now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond the illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating, so step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. Imagination partners with manifestation. Um, the message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why that is always so funny. Always. I read this, I read this last time and I remember I was laughing at that as well. You, the message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined, and this, I'm starting to see all these things that you have thought about this, like how this person is going to be that you're imagining. And I don't know why that is funny. Uh, you have imagined will enter your life. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. This is how close we are. And we just talked about how this usually is the card that comes when you're really, really close to manifest a romantic partnership. If this is not a romantic partnership and you're not looking for, for that because either you don't want it or you're already in one, um, this could just be like a beautiful soul tribe uh, friendship. It can be like a, the best business partner thinkable, etc. <clears throat> You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. And then the prosperity message states, this is a powerful time to get clear on how you create your prosperity. Uh, what it means to you to be prosperous. What does it mean to you, Pisces, to be prosperous? What does that mean? And what attributes you need to develop in yourself to make things happen? Who do you need to be to live out your dreams? Question mark. Can you imagine the kind of life you desire? Really imagine it. Without hold, can you that? Can you that, Pisces? Can you imagine the life that you want to, to lead or live? Really imagine it. Can you see it for your inner eyes, for your inner vision? Um, without holding back the sheer force of your powers of creativity. If you can envision it, you can have it. Get ready for prosperity is waiting for you to claim it now. Act as if, uh, as if, <laughs> act as if it has already happened. Uh, your dreams really will come true. Pisces, your dreams really will come true. Everything speaks about it here. Okay, I'm going to move this into the extension and see what else I can find. Really exciting reading. And I'm so happy for you, like... For the most part, for you not being codependent, like that is not constantly just keep coming out. This is like you manifesting and dreaming about something awesome that seems to now take place, which is beautiful. Before we get into the extension, I just want to tell you about this chance to win a personal reading with me for free. There's no money involved here whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> and all I want you to do is to take three to five minutes, if you haven't already heard this in another reading, to take three to five minutes um, and just close your eyes if you feel comfortable to do that and just think of someone or something and if you can't find that someone or something just go to your heart just go to your heart and just sit with your heart and sit with love and just think of love or, or feel love or harmony or peace or gratitude around a person or a situation and just sort of emanate and ooze that energy out into the ethers it will really help the collective a lot um, and if you want to then, <clears throat> just write something that you feel love for or feel gratitude for or whatever in the, in the comment section or like something like you want to be a part of the draw, you want to be in on it uh, to make me understand that you want to be a part of this because not everyone is interested. 
Uh, and then I'll announce it's not too long um, till the winner, winner will be drawn. It's on the 14th of April. So when I'm recording this, we have uh, the 8th. So it's like you do the math. So it's like six days. In six days, so it's very short. When you listen to this, it's probably five days. Uh, and I will we'll announce the winner. <clears throat> so if you find that exciting, just... Go sit and send some love and then write about it or say something in the comment section. And um, you might win. If you want to come to the extension, I see what else we can find here. This dream, big dream of yours that is about to take place. Um, there's two links in the description box <laughs> down there. Uh, so go down there and check it out if you want to. If not, thank you so much for watching Pisces. I really appreciate you being here, taking the time out to watch these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, it would really help the channel if you do. Even a little thumbs up if you like the video is really helpful. Thank you so much, guys.